First, I just want to get to the notion of um, uh, what you guys do um, uh, by way of an anecdote. So when I was a hedge fund manager, uh, I, you know the story I'm about to tell you, yeah. um, I hired a satellite company to fly over an oil field. There was this oil driller. I didn't believe they were drilling. Their data looked fake. Yeah. But we couldn't get there. It was in the middle of the jungles of Papua New Guinea. So we flew a satellite over. Yep. But I had to wait every few weeks before the satellite would be in contact with that area. If it yeah. was cloudy, I couldn't see anything. Right. I got some good data. I didn't get everything I wanted. How does your business sort of take that to the next level? Well, really, we take advantage of changes that go far beyond our business. The commercial space industry has exploded in the last five years. So from our partners and from Planet here in San Francisco, we can get imagery of the world every day at three meter resolution. From our partners, Three meter resolution, three resolution. Three meter you can resolution. see basically the width of this table. Big things, yeah, big things we can see every day. And then, and then we can get 30 centimeter resolution, which is more the size of the top of your laptop um, from, from our partners at Digital Globe, a little less frequently, but it's amazing imagery. And I think what's also interesting is that you're, it's not that you own the satellites. Right. It's that you're able right. to contract with them to get all the imagery right. and then use, use technology to stitch it together. No, that's right. And part of the business model we've pioneered is to pay a rev share back to the satellite provider. So we get the planet imagery, the digital globe imagery, the Airbus imagery, Earthcast, and about a half dozen other companies. We have access to all the imagery from all the satellites. And then we put it together using AI, create signals that may show drilling across all of the U.S. or all of China. Well, I want to get to the AI thing in a second, yeah. but it occurs to me that one of the things you're doing is allowing the satellite companies themselves who know they know just how good their businesses are and they just know how bad they are and it, it lets them leverage the effectiveness of other satellite companies right. and get a little of the revenue from that too that's right so so if the satellite companies a lot of their bread and butter is map making and it's selling to the government but if you want to sell to a hedge fund manager you really as you've seen from your own experience you have to have pretty frequent imagery and so by stitching them all together we can get much more frequent imagery and much richer data sets so uh, one of the use cases that I love uh, is the notion of of understanding how successful a retailer is in almost real time. Yeah. Uh, give me an example there. So, so the simple thing we do is just to watch the cars. Um, so just look at them all, see how many cars are in the parking lot. And if it's close to Christmas, it better be full. Um, if it's 10 o'clock on a Saturday morning in the middle of the summer, maybe it's okay if it's not full. But we understand those patterns so we can look at the images and see whether or not given retailers are doing well or not. All right, so I've printed out the maps and leaned over and tried to figure out what I'm looking at and yeah. how many uh, uh, pipes or casing pipes are going down into a well and if that's actually yeah. changing. What's interesting, real super interesting here, as if this wasn't crazy enough, yeah. is the way you're using artificial intelligence to right. do the work. What's happening right. there? So, so, I mean, if you think about the retail example or the oil example, it's really very large. So we're looking at 250,000 parking lots for retail. And that's way too many to have people look at. They would go crazy. So we actually use the AI to count the cars in each of those parking lots every time a satellite passes over So what over does the user see? So what the user sees is a single number for all of Macy's. You know, how does so, Macy's do? But how do? does that interface work? I mean, do they go to a browser and type in exactly. how many cars are Macy's? Yeah, uh, they go to the, they go to the, they get, if they have the right login, they go to the Orville Insight website and they can see Macy's this year versus same time a year ago. Or they can see Home Depot this year versus same time a year ago.